Welcome to Camp Good Grief. How are you? Are you excited to be here? Oh, yes! Lunchtime! Campers are kids from 4 to 14. Kids have been called the forgotten mourners. Once a day, they gather under the trees for group therapy. All the kids here have lost someone near and dear to them. Nancy's mom got very, very sick, and she was in the hospital. Here they learn grieving is okay. Somebody was pulling out at a red light, and then she flipped over in her car. Right, they hit her with their other car and flipped her car. They also learn the importance of remembering their loved ones. Okay, it's her mom's wedding ring that her dad gave her. So it's one of the toughest days at camp. Day we spend a lot of time on feelings and a lot of time on learning to express feelings and exploring that with them and making it safe for them and uh, to, to say whatever it is they need to say. This year was especially challenging for camp counselors. The boy said his father died in the World Trade Center. There are nearly a dozen kids at Camp Good Grief who lost a parent September 11th. At first, camp coordinators thought about putting the September 11th kids in a separate group. They soon realized keeping them together was the right decision. One of the little girls in the group looked at the, the kid who lost his dad in 9-11 and said, you know, I'd really be proud that my dad died in 9-11. And I think everybody in the group shed a little tear. Tears Raquel Damadeo has shed since September 11th. Her husband, Vincent, who worked for Cantor Fitzgerald, died in the World Trade Center. She has four sons who are all at Camp Good Grief. While the boys lost their father, Raquel says her sons have now found a place where they can open up and share a deep hurt. Some of my boys sometimes even go into school. For them, they feel like they have to keep it a secret, like it's we can't let anyone know, it's our secret. And here they almost felt like, you know, everybody knows and it's okay. Raquel's oldest son, 11-year-old Jerry, rarely talks about his father's tragic death, but she says the art therapy classes have helped him. Art therapy is where Jerry sculpted this American flag. This is his way of expressing grief. Very often, kids cannot put words to the feelings, but this piece, when it was gray, when it was just the color of gray clay was even quite moving and once it's painted is even more so. Wow. When they say goodbye, they are sad because of the special bond they now share. But they are also stronger, braver, and ready to face the world knowing they are not alone. So fine, it has been a week of good grief. Yeah. Ginger Gadsden, USA Today.